I welcome all of you on platform of your PD education and today's uh, this video is a uh, little inspirational for all the techies, all the technocrats of India. Uh, you know, when you see these photographs, when you see these names, when you see the names of these companies, we feel proud, you know, to have these people there in the top global companies. So I would like to see what is the common, what do you think is the common among them? Okay, one thing common among them is they are all CEOs of top, you know, global companies, all technical techies, you know, all technical domain companies, uh, especially related to ITs and all. Second common thing is all of them are technocrats, all of them are engineers. That is another thing. But I'm not asking about that. I'm not asking about whether they all are CEOs, whether they all are engineers, whether they all are in America. I'm not asking that. I'm asking what else? What else is a common among them? Let's explore. Let's explore them and then we find it. See the profile of Nadella. Electrical engineer from Manipal Institute of Technology. So if you think only ITNs can make it up, don't think that way. Anybody can do. Who can have, uh, you know, who pushes hard, who follows a particular strategy can do that. Electrical engineer did his MS in computer science and then MBA later on and presently CEO of Microsoft. Microsoft as you know computer science uh, domain company big company. Does that mean if I'm electrical engineer I cannot go for uh, you know technical company or computer science company. Second if I want to go abroad America should I go for MBA or MS? Why he did M MS first and then MBA? Is there any addition I mean MS MBA? Let me ask you a question. What do you think on the basis of which degree do you think he got the job in Microsoft out of these three BE, MS, MBA? On basis of which degree you think he must have got recruitment in Microsoft? And the second question on basis of which learning he got at the top. So there's a role of every domain. There's a role of every degree, you know, maybe because computer science, knowledge of computer science was important to get into the domain or job. Then to excel into that managerial skills are required. A technocrat who wants to rise to very high level, you know, chief executive level and all, he should have knowledge about his soft, which he call hard skill and also soft skill, managerial skills. So you can see the diversity, electrical engineer, computer science, management, you can see diversity and learning uh, you get when you go for this. And second thing I was asking common, yes, everybody got enriched by knowledge, you know, you get the knowledge while doing also and academic institutes also. But diversity is important and learning is important. Let's go to next, Sundar Pechai. You know, he's a metallurgical engineer. Metallurgy, the kind of branch which you think is not at all related to computer science. It's not related to the domain in which he is CEO. Metallurgical science. Okay, then again material science engineering, MS. I want to do job in Google. Okay, do MS in material science. You'll say why? It's not understandable. After that, MBA from this university. So does that mean I can land up in any, you know, any particular company, even if my domain of learning in college is different? Looks like yes. I mean, you have the opportunities. Whatever course you are, message is whatever course you are, chemical engineer, metallurgical engineer, production engineer, biotechnology, whatever course you are, physics people, mathematics people, chemistry people, anyone. If you think you cannot land up in this company, think again. These profiles are reflecting you can, you can do that. Second, MS and then MBA. Previous profile was also similar to that. MS and then MBA. Does that mean going to US directly for MBA does not work? It costs you more. Certainly it costs you more. MS costs you less. Let me give you some statistics which approximate statistics. In Indian currency, 1 crore for MBA from good school, 25 lakh, 30 lakh for MS. Decide what you want to do. Go there, do the job, earn there, and then go for MBA. Maybe that is the message. Then we come to third. Parang, Parag Agarwal. You know, this fellow is a computer guy from IIT Bombay. Direct PhD. What is the benefit of direct PhD? Maybe you get more scholarship. So that is also one of the domain. Those of you think, no, no, why PhD? Let's get land up in job. 
let's land up in job phd may will waste lot of years 5 6 years of life will go waste what is the benefit see the benefit i tell you 2005 he graduated he must have taken 5 years to do phd 2011 got the job in 10 years he becomes ceo of twitter don't you think this has contribution in that so when you when you want to go up your academic background yes that matters so direct phd to us now let me answer the question what is common among them diversity what is common among them exploration they went yeah they went and uh, they sought the degrees the best universities how does it help it helps to you know get branding and get into those top brands top companies you have alumni there these things help so everybody is having some names you know at bombay this stanford university so you know those kind of campuses these names are there i think again stanford university you have some names so alumni base matters so if you say sir brand brands matter yes suddenly it matters you should try to get into that diversity matters yes it matters so if i am technocrat or also and managing domain also or uh, maybe this guy does not need management degree because you know phd itself is a big management degree now you need to manage many things that is how it goes that may be inspirational for all of us whosoever wants to grow very high you know wants to have a great dream many ways here many ways for technocrats available entire globe and i told you many times this our professional technocrat or engineering profession is a global profession we do not cater to the needs of india we cater to the needs of entire globe which is reflected from here we talk about the companies so indian technocrats are not serving indian companies we are serving the global companies but make ourselves capable for that let's push hard let's do it more thank you